Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel. So today we have Harmony here and Harmony is the sound sculpt by Kathy Romero Biscuitty. Um, she's actually the prototype baby, believe it or not. <laughs> um, she is just waiting to be rooted, so I'm enjoying her in the meantime. Um, she is a crying baby and as I mentioned before, I did a little write up on her on my blog, which is MissRenneSmithBabies.com. So if you want to check that out, you can. Um, but other than that, if you want to purchase a little Holland Jack, a little Holland, a little screaming little sound baby, um, you can do that on Silicon Studio, the number two dot com. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad like this video by giving me a thumbs up and guys I always appreciate your comments so today we're gonna try on her sleepers I'm gonna show you guys what I bought out of Target and Gabby which is my youngest child um, she wanted to spend her gift card from her birthday way back in April <laughs> and we went um, we went and did some some window shopping and stuff um, wasn't so successful at some of the stuff I wanted to find for her, but she got what she wanted and I found a couple of little things. I can never go into Target and not come out with something. So the first thing I did was bought some Honest Diapers, the little giraffe print because I didn't have them in newborn. Um, and so I decided to get those for my other baby. And so I did get those. And then, uh, and if you guys don't know, I collect lots and lots of uh, diapers. And then I found these pacifiers, which I will open up. Um, I was, from what I could see, I really loved the, um, the nipple. So I'm always, this is actually Nook brand. It says for nature, I really, really love a flat nipple. And that's the thing that, um, and a small nipple. That is the thing that Nook tend to have for a lot of babies. If a baby don't look right with a pacifier, usually a Nook, a traditional Nook brand pacifier normally works well with them. But I have um, another baby that I'm going to be doing and that baby mouth is a little um, different and very narrow. So I need a very flat, straight nipple for that baby. And I I thought this this nipple would look really good for that baby um so look at the nipple on this it is so amazing it's like straight across and it's very thin and this I always buy the smallest size that I can buy this is a zero to six month I usually like the zero plus month because it's usually smaller but these are actually really small so let's see. I don't have any um, KY or anything on it, but her mouth is so wide. I don't think she really needs it. Sometimes the traction from the tongue and such. So I don't know if this nipple is, let's see how far her mouth goes back. So the nipple, it's not that, that long. So sometimes you do need the uh, KY so that it can, the nipple will slide all the way back. <laughs> her tongue is kind of getting in the way. But I think this pacifier will actually look really cute on her when I take the time. Because it's kind of like going every way but the way it's supposed to go in there. But when I take the time and put it in her mouth, I really like this one on her actually. But... This will work really, really well on babies that have like a narrow uh, passage for their mouth. So I love that. I, I want to buy more of these. They didn't have a lot. They were like $10 a pack. So I'm going to go online and keep my packaging. And I'm going to go online, go on Amazon and see if I can find these. I think I originally seen them on Amazon and I wanted to see what they're like. I'm going to go on there and then I'm going to buy some more of those. OK, 
because I would like to send some of those home with babies. But these are just the plain. I loved her so much in that uh, Love Baby onesie that she had on with the hat. So I'm going to do this one with a hat. I did not um, bring her a hat over here. But I'm thinking she's been wearing pink so much. Um, let's see. This color, I don't think it's going to be like the best on her skin tone. This color, I think, will work really good on her skin tone. Well, let's try the one that we might least think will be really pop a lock in on her skin tone. We're going to try that. I wanted to get her some more, you know, onesies because I feel like... I like her in onesies a lot. Now this is supposed to be newborn. It looks like it's a little on the big side, but that's okay. We're gonna so we're gonna get her dressed. She has on a diaping. Oh, she does have the polyfill poofing out her diaper. So I've gotten this new habit that I like to do the polyfill in the back of the diaper because it gives them that little push, like the little baby bump. And I really, really like that. But I also noticed that she does really well. Um, the cuddles does really well when you put them on cloth diapers because some of the cloth diapers are overly padded, which normally with my reborns or my silicone babies, I will take that padding out sometimes. But for with my cuddles, I like to, you know, keep them in those. So this is a cloth diaper. So... Wait a minute. Ah, wait a minute. Keep that going. Um, yeah. And we're gonna do, we're gonna get her in this cloth diaper. And it still have all this padding in there. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Um, I listen to people all the time go back and forth like if they like the cuddles if they don't like the cuddles um, It's always interesting to see why someone likes them why they don't like them. I love them <laughs> I I love them so much till I actually keep my babies like let me zoom out a little bit. I actually keep them in their cloth sometimes just a diaper or just a t-shirt and a diaper like when they're off camera I can enjoy them that way I don't have to keep them covered up because I already know their their cloth but I do like them in um when I'm holding them I like them in sleepers or like pajama clothes because they're cuddles so I mean sometimes I dress them up cute for you know photos and for you know just so other people can see that they they can wear regular clothes but for me personally for my sleeper my sleepers my cuddles I um I like them like this and I do like sleeper cuddles more but I tend to like baby sleeping period um almost 90% of my collection is sleep is <laughs> asleep oh this color does actually look good on her okay Okay, baby, we got to turn you over so you can get dressed. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm like on the floor, kneel down, trying to dress her in the camera. So, <sighs> the things we do for a video. You guys can thank me later. All right, baby. Well, let's get this other arm in here. It is not this challenging for me when I'm off camera <laughs> because I'm not trying to. And I got, what do I got? Sorry, silicone. Gosh, silicone under my nails. It's 
it's sad <laughs> that you know silicone is everywhere like it's so funny because it peels like uh you know how when glue dry when you know when you were little you used to put the glue on your hands and then you let it dry and then you peel it off I don't know if y'all used to do that. I used to do it. I used to like to do it. I actually enjoy when I have to pull chunks of silicone from under my nails. <laughs> because it, it reminds me of that that glue. That Elmer's glue that we used to do. But anyway. Nevertheless. Ha! Huh, she does fit this newborn sleeper. They had them in for boy colors. But... Gabby was reminding me. She was like, Mommy, don't forget you got that box of clothes. You're still trying to find a place to put them. And I was like, Oh my God, my 10 year old is even guilt tripping me now. And I'm like, Okay. I was like, You're right. I'm going to put, don't worry, I'm going to put this stuff back. So I had more stuff in my buggy, but I put it back because I felt guilty buying it. But I'm going to go back and get those boy sleepers like this because. My boy cuddle is going to need this sleeper. Oh my gosh, you little crying little girl. Okay, so we need her with a hat. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Somebody's pissed you off. I've been that upset before in my life. Um, I don't have a hat that I can snatch off someone else's head nearby. And that hat really don't go. So, we will have to wait because I think I have, hold on guys, I have a yellow hat, I know. A gold hat. It's gold, actually. Oh, I love having my nursery so organized right now where everything is like kind of right at my fingertips because it makes life so much easier when i'm like doing a video look at that head shape <laughs> i don't know if you guys what if you guys can see but yeah she has a beautiful head shape let me see i love it <laughs> I love it so much like let me let me zoom in so you guys can see I did a lot of modeling in her head too because I plan on like doing a more sparsely rooted head so let me see if you can see let me take you guys off so you guys can see you see her head shape <laughs> look cool in head oh my goodness I love her she is definitely one of my my new faves. Okay, so I got this hat and I think it kind of blends with that. So I'm gonna put her on this hat to blend with this outfit. And this will be my last recording for the day. I've kind of recorded quite a bit of long videos for you guys and you guys will be seeing them over periods of time. But I think this will be my last one. I'm at the home stretch of Finishing up bubbles finally. I know I've been talking about that for six months, but oh, we're getting there. And I noticed that I tend to root fairly thin at the top, so I'm trying to not root as thin on this baby top. All right, so what I do for the Reggie Ann bodies, everybody that complain about the knee area, is once I get them in the position of how I want them. I make sure I pull the clothes out a little bit so it doesn't show that indent in the body. And that's all I do. And I actually, because I really, really love her body's posing and movement and weight. And you got something right there in your mouth. I know, it's because I put the pacifier in her. I know, I know. Oh my gosh, she makes me feel so sorry for her. <laughs> I just want... I just want to fix whatever her problems are <laughs> but um yeah I just you know pluck the clothes out it's not that big of a deal for me but I guess I'm more simple minded maybe um 
but this is see if you guys can see my little crying sound <laughs> so yeah so she is a silicone cuddle and her new name is Harmony and you guys will get to see her crying away in my videos from the time we'll get her dressed she probably won't get changed out a lot because she's more like a comfort baby now for me so someone that I just like to hold I like to put her in her little sleepers um until she gets here and I'm gonna wait till I can root her because I want to really take my time on rooting her because I I want it to be really really nice and um accentuate her egghead <laughs> her little uh newborn shape head I want her to have a very newborn style head and I've never really rooted very sparsely but I want to root a little bit more sparsely anyway the next baby you guys will see is bubbles with her hair she's to be the first baby that I rooted with blonde or a very light mixture of hair um so it's going to be interesting so i will share that baby with you guys and i'm going to weight her body today and hopefully finish her up by the end of the night and then i will do whatever final like glosses of her mouth and whatever i feel like i want to touch on her and then i will um assemble her to go home to her mommy so um that will be the next video that you guys will get to see and I am also going to wait my personal baby um Brooklyn even though she doesn't have a head right now <laughs> but anyway see you guys later thanks for watching bye bye